All right, so good morning. Welcome back to another video. I'm here just outside Parbrook. I've uh, been doing about 12K so far, trying to get warm. It's not actually as cold as last week. It is about two degrees, but there is a bit of a headwind coming across. It's a bit blowy, but the sun is fighting to come out. So fingers crossed. Uh, I'm on my own today. Couldn't, uh, couldn't tempt anybody out in the cold after last week or that I put them off because they were scared where I was going to take them today <laughs> after taking Bill at the notorious Draycott Steep. So I'm going to cycle around. I'm going to show you another Mendic climb today through Blaine up at Acroscombe. Another steep one at the bottom. And uh, we might actually get the drone up so we'll show you a bit more of the Mendip area from a different viewpoint. Yeah, the plan was to stay off the back lanes today because I don't know what kind of surfaces we've got ice-wise. I ended up finding myself in a lane that looks treacherous. So pray for me. <laughs> I think it is just water, but you never know what's under there. And I've got a big hill to go down now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, all these little wet patches on the road, very scary. You don't know what's underneath them. Oh, I got very cold filming from that drone. My fingers are now starting to hurt. But I'm at the bottom of the climb. So we're going up through play now and uh, hopefully warm up pretty soon. It's a bit steep at the bottom here. Oh, that warmed me up, and the sun's trying to come out. Yeah, that's definitely warmed me up. I can feel my fingers again. There's a two mile climb, uh, better than swift. I'm starting to feel glad I'm out now, I can feel warm again. Uh, I think something's on fire. I don't know what that was, but it wasn't good to breathe in. <laughs> but if one hill wasn't enough, I'm doing the worst part of Old Bristol Road and heading back down to Wookie Hole by the scenic way but oh <laughs> I'm going hot then cold then hot and cold got cold again on the descent so it's time to get hot again does anyone happen to know what what purpose it serves for your nose to run when you get cold. Is it like, oh, you know, I'm cold. I'll let some snot run down my nostrils and that'll warm me up. <laughs> Certainly as a cyclist, you become an expert at wiping your nose without a handkerchief.
No. I turned off the main road onto the moor then, it just got really cold, legs, feet, just turned really, really cold. Now I've hit the hills again, I don't know whether my legs are protesting or I just can't feel them. There we have it. That's as far as I got with the video uh, because the microphone broke. I struggled with the Insta camera again. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm gonna have to check and figure out that what it is. It's just the battery just seems to be dead every time I turn it on, even though I've charged it. It's too cold to use the drone, so you've only got one bit of drone footage. I think that's more of a summer activity. I was cold. I'm not sure I really enjoyed it. I don't know whether I'd have enjoyed being on Zwift more. I did say I'd enjoy being out. At times I did, definitely did. But it's just uh, hard to get motivated when there's no one to cycle with. The weather is awful. And uh, who knows when this pandemic is going to end. Yeah, so hopefully Abby and I will be back on Wednesday for a video. I'm on holiday this week, so I don't know whether I'll be able to get out and do another video. Because the forecast is awful. We've got the Beast of the East version 2 arriving in the UK with snow and ice and cold and all sorts. But definitely back on Wednesday with Abby. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I might be a little bit more motivated next week. Yeah, until the next one.